Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Now I move into the fourth example consider a repairman who replaces a light bulb the instant it burns out suppose the first light bulb is put in a time zero and let x of x i be the lifetime of ith light bulb you define the random variable T n is the sum of n x i s where x i s are i a d random variables x i be the lifetime of the i th light bulb and uh, when x i s are i a d random variable you are defining t n is uh, x 1 plus x 2 plus x n and so. So, the t n be the time of time the nth light bulb burns out because the T n is a x 1 plus x 2 and so on till x n therefore, T n be the time the nth light bulb burns out. Assume that x i is is exponential distribution with the parameter lambda. We know that already x i s are i a d random variable. Now, I am making the further assumption x i s follows exponential distribution with the parameter lambda. That means, uh, you know what is the mean of this random variable. Since, it is exponential distribution with the parameter lambda, this becomes 1 divided by lambda. Also, one can use the result T n by n that is nothing but 1 divided by n summation of x i s where i is running from 1 to n as n tends to infinity as n tends to infinity one can prove T n by n tends to 1 divided by lambda that is a mean of a, the random variable x i almost surely. I am not proving here the way you do the sequence of random variable converges to another random variable convergence takes place in probability or in distribution or in rth mean or almost surely one can prove this the T n by n 
converges to 1 by lambda almost surely. That means, we can conclude the random variable x 1, x 2 and so on obeys strong law of large numbers, because the T n by n that is nothing but 1 by n of summation of x i s that converges to the value 1 by lambda almost surely, we can conclude the sequence of random variable x i s obeys a strong law of large numbers. Even though in this problem I made the assumption x i s follows the exponential distribution with the parameter lambda, in general the lifetime can be any distribution. So, this problem will be discussed in detail in renewal processes. So, as such here we are making the assumption of a distribution of x i s is exponential distribution therefore, I made it a convergence takes place almost surely to the value 1 by lambda this can be generalized. There are many more problems of the similar kind, but uh, we are discussing only few problems therefore, we can use a similar logic of uh, finding the moment generating function then concluding the distribution and finding the limiting distribution or uh, you verify whether the sequence of random variable convergence takes place in mean, convergence takes place in probability or convergence takes place in uh, distribution or convergence in the orth mean or convergence almost surely. This can be used uh, in any problem of the same way what I have done it here. And I have not discussed any problem in the central limit theorem, but that will be used many times therefore, I, I have not given any problems for the central limit theorem. Let x 1, x 2, so 1 be a sequence of random variables each having student t distribution with the n degrees of freedom. Our interest is to find out the limiting distribution of a the student t distribution. We know that the probability density function of f of x for the random variable x n is given by gamma of a n plus 1 by 2 divided by square root of n times pi multiplied by gamma of n by 2 multiplied by 1 plus x square by n the power minus n plus 1 by 2. So, this is the probability density function of a random and random variable x n. Our interest is to find out the limiting distribution of the random variable x n. For larger, for large n, we have the results limit n tends to infinity of gamma of n plus 1 by 2 divided by square root of n pi of gamma of n by 2 is 1 divided by square root of 2 pi using Stirling's approximation. And also we 
limit n tends to infinity of 1 plus x square by 2 the whole power minus n plus 1 by 2 that we know that is e power minus x square by 2. Hence the limit n tends to infinity of the probability density function of the random variable x n becomes 1 divided by square root of 2 pi e power minus x square by 2. Since the right hand side is the probability density function of a standard normal distribution, we conclude for a larger n the sequence of random variables x1, x2, xn and so on that tends to the random variable z and this convergence takes place in distribution where z is standard normal distribution. So, this is a simple example of uh, the sequence of random variables each having a student t distribution. The limiting distribution converges to standard normal and that convergence in distribution.